So, transistor in hand, we sent Mark Owen to meet one of the pirate DJs who pioneered the radio we sort of listen to today. Taking a look at old radios shows what the problem was back in the pre-swinging 60s. This dial here bears the grim truth. <sighs> As you can see, all that was available to teenagers and young people was the old bbc light -like programme. That was a collection of crooners, comedy and uh, music for the family. But then came this. This is the sound of International Caroline. It's number one! Not off. March the 28th, 1964, then was the beginning of the end for radio in a dinner jacket. Would be disc jockeys, fed up but not hearing their kind of music, took to the high seas. This then was the 60s version of a pirate ship. Radio Caroline was launched off the south coast and ended up off the Isle of Man. It was unlicensed, against the law, and what everyone wanted to listen to. And it's all been put into a book by a former pirate DJ. There were 15, 16 of us living in very cramped quarters. You didn't have your own cabin. You had to, not exactly a hot bunk, but you, you, you shared a cabin. So that was the downside. But there was an upside too. It was new artists, new songwriters, new record producers, Georgie Fame. As an example, Yeah Yeah was not played by BBC, it was played by Pirate Radio, and it became a monster hit. I said, yeah, yeah, that's what I say, I said, yeah, yeah. At its peak, there were eight Pirate Radio stations, and one in two of the population, some 25 million people at the time, tuned in. Problem was, the government, who were missing out on revenue through licences, didn't like it. Who comes your way? I'll tell you. Johnny Walker. Very simple. We have free speech in this country, so they tell us. Uh, until you start doing radio or TV. And then suddenly there are all these bodies who, who are in control of it. So I think it was just, it was the fact that the, it was a bit anarchic uh, and something they couldn't control and they thought, well, we've got to put a stop to this. Pirate radio was outlawed by the government in 1967, but it had changed radio forever. So what's next, Keith? More like America, like Australia, like New Zealand, which is streamed radio. So if you want chat all day, you can tune to a particular frequency. Close your eyes and... Say goodnight. 